We've had a lot of strategy games on the PSVR. Some have been good and some have been bad. But now we have received another strategy game called Core Infernal Machines. So, is Core any good? Core Infernal Machines is a turn-based strategy game that has you controlling troops fighting against the enemy troops. There isn't a story to the game, you just fight enemies. Each mission gives you something to do. In one mission you might be trying to kill all enemies, and in another you'll be capturing a flag point. This is a turn-based strategy game, so you gotta take it step by step. The game cycles between your turn and the enemy's turn. Whenever it's your turn, you can move a troop and choose to attack or not. Your troops have a basic attack and a special ability. Each type of troop has a different special ability, so they play differently. The controls are a little complicated, but only took a bit to get used to. They give you options to turn around, change your position, and to select troops. You can also change your height or scope into the level so you can see it up close. The graphics aren't anything amazing, but can still look pretty nice when zoomed out. And the music is okay. It was pretty much just your generic battle music. And that's about all the game has to offer. It's a pretty simple game. But you might be wondering, what do I think about the game? Well sadly, I found it really hard to enjoy. The missions are pretty simple, but because of the turn system they felt extremely slow. The problem I have with the turn system is that each time you use your turn on a troop, you won't be able to use that troop again until you've used all of your troops. Besides that, my biggest problem is that it doesn't add anything to the strategy formula. It's just the same game we've played so many times before, but worse. I also ran into a glitch on the second stage where the enemy's turn wouldn't end, and I had to restart. So overall, Core Infernal Machines isn't very good. I wanted to like it, but it was just way too slow and generic for me. And I haven't even mentioned the price tag of the game, which is way too high. So I just can't recommend this one.